We have Ron Jossel with us on the show, comedian who's part of the Laughter Factory tour. Um, they've still got three more gigs coming up, which we'll tell you all about and tell you where they can see them. Uh, but, Ron, you've been coming to Dubai for a few years, haven't you? Eh? I mean, you took me way, way back to when comedy pretty much started here. Yeah, oh my gosh, last time... I'm just joking, I don't speak like that. <laughs> I, um, uh, my first time here, I did the Showtime special in 2003. Yeah. And then, um, so it's literally... 20 years ago. Right, I mean, wow. I've, been, I've yeah. probably been here around 10 times. 10 times. So you're yeah. a popular comic in, in, in town. Tell me about your, your background because um, you're Filipino-Canadian, aren't you? Yeah. So tell me about your family. So my parents met, um, they were both on vacation and they met in Toronto. Yeah, in uh, the Holiday Inn Filipino Thursday dance night, <laughs> okay. right? Yeah. And so my dad swept my mom off her, her feet, her, <laughs> and then uh, and what's funny that Holiday Inn turned it into the first comedy club called called uh, uh, Laugh Resort. That the I, Laugh Resort that I played. So yeah, when I told my parents I was playing at this comedy club in King Street and Duncan, and they're like. Oh, that's where we met. I go, where? <laughs> the Holiday Inn. I go, it's still Holiday Inn. The club is inside. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I met your mom there at Filipino thir uh, Thursdays. What a story. There, there was only 40 Filipinos at that time. <laughs> <laughs> what a st I mean, what, what part of the Philippines do your parents come from? Uh, Cebu. Oh, Cebu. Yeah, so wow. they speak Visayan. Visayan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cebu is How just... do you know all this? Yeah, I know all this because my wife is originally from Zamboanga. Oh, but wow. Then we moved to Cebu and... Basically, when I go on holiday or, you know, um, wh whenever I'm not in Dubai, I'm in Cebu. That is kind oh, of my second it's place. It's beautiful. It's, it's a lovely... So do you visit? Yeah, I'm actually going there right after this tour. So I'm doing a 16-country oh, wow. tour. Yeah. And this is the first stop. And right. Then next week, I'm going to Philippines. And after that, I'm going to be going to... Kuala Lumpur and whatever. You're yeah. doing a tour down in, in yeah. Asia. That's, yeah. that's, that's amazing. Tell me how you got into comedy, as well as your mum and dad meeting at this comedy factory. Um, how, did, how did you, what was your road into being a comedian? Uh, well, I saw Eddie Murphy Delirious when I was eight, and I said, okay, that's what I have to do. Like, it was that easy. Really? And you so, just knew straight away? Right away. And, yeah. and so my parents were like, what are you going to be when you grow up? And I'm like, a nurse? <laughs> right and yeah like okay and by the time happy I, with that yeah so i went to school and i had to finish and get my degree and all that stuff to make them happy and then as soon as i got my education down i did whatever i wanted they didn't care what i did they yeah. just go just graduate and then do whatever you want and what was your degree in was it nursing or uh, something else it was uh it was actually karaoke no i <laughs> <laughs> my uh, it was a uh, computer graphics so i was a computer oh. graphic artist Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but still, you put that to one side. Yeah, I mean, comedy. it's all the art part of my brain. So it's all yeah. that. The other side is it doesn't exist. Yeah. First yeah. gig was it a success. Or was I got, it a I disaster? Got, I got booed off the stage. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> I uh, I was on stage. I never. I didn't think comedians wrote jokes. I thought it was all made up, on the spot, like oh, WWE. Oh. You know, like, yeah. Yeah. Right. I thought <laughs> WWE was real, and in comedy, I thought they just made it up. So I went up and I tried to just talk. And I got booed off. Oh, dear. And I jumped off the stage and I <laughs> ran to the bathroom. And I was holding the counter, looking into the mirror. And I saw a single tear forming in my left eye. Yeah. <laughs> and then it dropped. And I said, you're a wimp. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to go back. But you didn't give day. up. You didn't. No, give I up. loved it. I actually, it didn't matter that I got booed because the adrenaline and, 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 and that you feel when you're doing comedy is incredible. Even if a, the boo actually, made, did, I didn't feel as bad. No? Because I was like, you know what? If... I could. I got my worst gig out of the way. Yeah, yeah. So, so now, it's up, up, hell never, be, never been booed since. Really? Well, last night, but that's a different <laughs> story. <laughs> so, I mean, did that make you want to start writing then and, and yes. get more of a, you know, a, a, a structure to your show? Right, because there's a, a writing, a science behind it, and I didn't think there was. There's kind of a parameters we have to work with. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, this is a joke. So I, I learned how to do writing and then i met russell peters who was my first friend in comedy and he kind of brought me around and showed me the ropes right yeah um, and um, now he, and now he doesn't return my phone call so anyways <laughs> that's that's when you get make it big isn't it you yeah, know? yeah yeah but i'm, I'm sure he's, he's, he's also he married to a filipina is he really yeah i didn't know that yeah wow and uh yeah so and she she met um she she comes to the shows and she loves the Filipino stuff that I do too. So I mean, do you do you do part of your culture in your show? Or, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I I I think that I have to just because it's part of me. But then I do other things besides yeah. that. Yeah. Right. Like Duncan, you've seen it, right? 
I'm, I enjoyed it every time I seen it. Yeah. But I'd, as I, I slip like, of fifty, I like, I like the way you talk about your father. That's that's the oh, know, my father's the really, yeah. he's he's the star of the show. Really. He is. <laughs> well, is your father quite a humorous kind of guy? Oh, that's probably where I get it, get it from. Yeah, yeah. He was always a joker. Okay. And what, and what? Tell me about his life, what he does, and what he did for a living. And so, um, my dad, um, when he, he went to vacation to Toronto, and then he met my mom, got married, and they both uh, got jobs working as nurses in Toronto General Hospital. Yeah. And then my dad was like, "I got to make more money." This, and so he started importing Filipino products oh. to Toronto. Okay. And within like a couple of years, they were rich. So we were actually rich Filipinos before rich Filipinos were out. Before Manny Pacquiao. So before they made the movie Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah, we, we were that. <laughs> you were but we're the that. only Asian people on our block. Wow. Yeah, where people were like, hey, uh, my dad would work on the front lawn and someone would ask him, how much does the owner pay you? And he'd be like, I own the house. <laughs> 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 no, he actually, uh, he, would he, would, he would do this. He'd go, how much do they pay you? He'd be like, yes, um, $1,000 a month, a week. I'll give you a deal for 800 Right, right. And tell my brother and I we got summer jobs. Right. <laughs> for $100 a week. I mean, you mentioned that after here, you're going to be uh, going to see uh, the Philippines, and then you've got a tour in in Asia. I mean, do you right. travel a lot? Are you out, out of uh, Canada quite a lot? Oh, well, basically, I, I live in New York City right now. Okay. And every city, every weekend, I'm in a different uh, a different state. So every week, like even my place in New York, I don't even, I'm hardly there. So every weekend I'm in a different city or a different uh, state or a different country. So this is more like uh, a 16 country tour, which I normally do four months a year. Right. Like before the COVID, I was doing that for like 15 years straight. Yeah. Duncan, they're like rock stars now, comedians, aren't the they? The good ones are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's me, right? That's, what we, that's who we try and get, the good ones. Yeah. 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 No, it's, it's great to have Ron here. Um, so you brought him before, I guess. Yeah, he, he, he came, Ron actually was the first time he got the pleasure of working together was just after the COVID um, yeah. sort of lockdown. We were very lucky enough to do some of the first ever events back with people. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we did an event at the Trade Center. And, um, you know, Ron was kind enough to, you know, make the effort to get here. Yeah. Um, and it's been sort of a a steady sort of increase since then to get confidence back and people coming out, which is, I think is now, yeah, now back in Dubai with some great events. You yeah. Know. Uh, is it 26 years now? Um, you guys we started uh, 1997. Right. So someone do the maths <laughs> on that form. Uh, can we get the backup team to do the mathematics? <laughs> yeah, I know I interviewed you guys. Yeah. 26 years. That's 26 when, years. That's yeah. when I started. Yeah. I started yeah. comedy in 97. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, that boy's I'm, got a degree, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just Asian. I know math. <laughs> so 26 years of, of comedy. Um, now, uh, we've got three more gigs to look forward to. Hyde Hotel in Business Bay. That's Thursday night. That's a new venue, I believe. We are, yeah. Back. Um, we've always wanted to try and get a gig off the ground in Business Business Bay, I think it's a good area. Yeah, uh, it's finding the right people to work with, and I think we have with this with the hotel. Yeah. With how they're, they're looking forward to the gig very much indeed. That's on Thursday the twelfth, and on the Friday you're going to be at the Park Rotana in Abu Dhabi. First time back in Abu Dhabi in a, in quite a while. Yeah, uh, again, just looking forward. It's a great gig, you know. The Abu Dhabi shows not the biggest gigs, but some of the nicest people. The audiences are great. Yeah. Um, we just we've been trying to get back there for probably a good six seven months, so we really are looking forward to being back in the capital. Yeah, and then you've got to wrap up the tour on the fourteenth. Uh, Duke's the pub. Oh, when we go posh, yeah, yeah, we get. <laughs> we always posh. try and do one posh gig. Make sure you got your suits on for that one, Ron. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and Duke's the. No, I'm yeah. joking. Oh my gosh, I have to buy a suit. <laughs> uh, so um, tickets laughterfactory.com. Always, you know, any information you have, great write-ups, which Gail does. Uh, so you get the background on all the guys uh, or girls on the gigs. Um, we just, th you know, thank everyone for their support last year and hope for, uh, you know, yeah. this year even even bigger and better. Yeah. So who else is on the bill with you, Ron? Um, can you help me with that, Duncan? Yeah. I yeah, talk okay. about their yeah, names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm the one who books it. They were that good. <laughs> I think, well, I think both, they're white, right? I'm not sure. They're white, two white guys. Oh. I think the bill 
is just a fantastic way to start the uh, the year. It's it's yeah. such a mix of stand-up, international stand-up. It's great. Yeah. And then, of course, um, we have uh, Ron. What was the plan for the year, Ron? What's um, after... Well, we, we spoke about going to the Philippines right. then doing the tour of, of Asia. What, what else is in the pipeline? Um, I'm going to get married. No, I am... Um, <laughs> I have to find a wife, so if anybody... <laughs> Is single. No, I, uh, I'm pretty much going to be touring. Uh, when I come back to America, I'm going to work on that t- television show again yeah. and then just relax a little bit for like a month. Okay. And then start the tours again because that's uh, full time comedians that just go on every weekend. And uh, at this age, I'm not that old. I'm 48, but I look 20 and um, <laughs> 22. Okay. And, but everybody else uh, just tours, right? So, Work on the television show. Work on my my own uh, theater shows. Yeah, and I have a uh, I have a promoter that's going to start doing a theater show across the U.S. Right. Favorite Filipino foods, maybe. My favorite Filipino food ever. Um, I would have to say the pancit palabok, which is a noodle dish with has yeah. shrimps and yeah, and, yeah. and garlic, and it tastes so good. It's just you know what's funny when I went to Kuala Lumpur, they brought me to a restaurant restaurant and I ordered a dish called palawa. And I t- it's exactly like Palabok. And I've realized before Philippines was a country, it was part of Malaysia. Yeah. Oh. And so the food just basically. Pretty would, similar. It's, it's, like, and the language is, I think it's 40%. Uh, like I heard someone say, that shirt's expensive. And I said, why is she speaking Filipino? And my friend's like, you don't know your history? I go, what's the history? Uh, you guys were Malaysians first, and then Spanish came, and you guys are mixed between Spanish and Malaysian. Oh. <laughs> that blew my mind. Bit of history lesson then. I, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. So I didn't know we're like, Filipinos were born out of wedlock. <laughs> right. Well, Ron um, Jossel, been great to chat with you, sir. Great um, to talk great to you. Great to meet you.